Welcome back to Wilder Mitt with me, Barden. Okay, so we're going to start by recruiting here. Wait, why, why won't it let us recruit? Okay, now recruit. Someone that was, yeah. Oh, it costs us le legacy points, okay. And I guess we spent, so we have to go get more legacy points. Gotcha. Right, let's go scout there then. Pulling threads. Well, what better spot to wait out the rain than a reminder of our civilization's inevitable demise? This is quiet. Falborn regards the wet field for a few more minutes, then wanders up one of the more sturdy looking staircases. What's been exposed to the sky for so long now lies covered in lichen. One room, however, remains relatively untouched by the elements. Unexpected. You think it's an old collection or some thief stash? Does it matter? Got all the classics here. Heroes posing heroically. Don't think we've ever fought one of those. Then there's this one. The weaving's not like the others, among other differences. I don't think regular looms do that. Why anyone would want this in their collection, I'm not sure. The tapestry breathes a shivering aura in, then out again. Okay, let's see. Right, we're going to try interfuse with it. I'm sure this will go well. Falborn steps closer to the tapestry and focuses eyes beyond its surface, as if trying to peer through, peer deeper inside. There's more tied up in these threads. If someone was willing to, to. You sure you know what you're doing? Snap. Ugh. Falborn is thrown against the back wall. Skittering, shiny limbs begin to spam outward for the tapestry as it unravels. Okay, great. We have a lovely fight. So we got bard, uh, four thrusts, five thrusts, and the dweller. Okay. Right, let's see what we can actually do here then. Okay, so first of all, interviews. What? Rock pile. Mm, they're not great choices, are they? Stunning barrage. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so we kill two, we stun one, that's good. You're gonna move there, interfuse this, and then yeah, let's barrage you. Okay, good. She's gonna shoot you. Okay, now. Shield shear to start. An attack. Okay, good. Okay. Go 
Can we open? Yeah, we can. Okay, open the door. That allows somebody else to go in. Interfuse the candle. You're gonna go there so you can get in. You can't. Oh yeah, aid is touch, right? Let's go to the room pillar. Then discus like that. Okay, good. Oh wow, actually kill both of them. Okay, let's shoot this bard. Oh, dodged, okay. You're gonna move up here. Okay. So you two have to move out of the way. So she can get in the door, right? So move over here. Then use flare. Blinded, good. You move here. Interfuse. No, that's a bad idea. Okay. So You move here, you aid, then let's shield shear you, good, and then attack, okay. Right, the guys are starting to perform a bit better than they did in the first chapter, I like that. Or maybe I'm, yeah, maybe I... I'm performing better as well, possibly. Okay, so Phallic and Quail are now rivals. Okay, cool. Bonus damage. So, let's see. Ooh, it doesn't quite move you up. Uh, well, it's got to go to one of those then, I guess. I would really like to have given it to you. Okay. After the last creature falls, what is left of the tapestry drops and whips apart with a crackle. One more figure is expelled from it before the threads curl and burn away. Malil. You're human, or close enough, but are you real this time? We're as real as it gets. Hmm, that's what they said the other times. Hmm, well, stick around for a while and see if we hold up. What do you remember? A name, Millennial. Enough of his childhood, long-ended adventures, but not much of what you're actually asking about. It's hard to tease apart what happened and what didn't. A sense of time passed and a sense of purpose biting something. Then perhaps not so much has changed. We're fighting too, it turns out. If you want to pick up where you left off, you look like someone you can watch it back in a battle. Oh, who can watch it? Okay, let's see. All right. Okay, we got a five on the D6, so there we go. We got a new recruit, I think. A cause to lend my wand to would be for the best. We'll fill you in on the state of the land. It's not the best shape. It's not in the best shape at the moment, but that's why we're out here. And good thing you were, I suppose. After the rain cleared, the constructs of the Dreaming Mantis trekked on and thread stronger in their old woven story. Okay. So we lose a legacy point, that's fine. Uh, so let's see. You could go with that for now. More compulsion. Just kind of keep enemies away. Okay, so. We're really out of legacy points, which is a big problem for us at the minute. Okay, let's go get into a fight then. Let's scout there. Okay, 
Okay, let's then patrol. And assault. It was here upon a secret lake, in a secret place, on a moonless night, fit for pro promise breakers, fence dodgers, for lovers forced to dampen their lips in darkness. It was here, on such a night, she'd fled. Pursued by the wrath of a goddess, she cheated. Here, Nizessa Krantz led her life's treasure to rest, or laid her life's treasure to rest. Okay. Green odors rise from the lake, its black, muddy shore. A solitary moon piper whistles while the windless reeds hold silent. Where I am, I'm an unbelonger. Even here, hmm? Lake Bird. As Falak is feeling good, speaking down on himself, he sees something strange. Spiderweb thin and strung from stone to star. An impossible thread of light. Should I fall, fail to return? I tether you to these constellations. The line will fade, but in the season of the Glindergast, on a night the stars are samely scattered, then your mooring lights shall beam skyward like a sunshy pair of eyes. Be your discoverer. Okay. Twenty hard strokes from shore, Fala calls himself up. Through a hole the size of a pin, pine nuts, warmthless light streams. You feel the desperation, almost like it's still. Whoever was last here was powerfully scared. Even as he watches, it starts to shrink. The night sky rolls towards its horizon and the light sinks back into the ground. Is there anyone to care? I don't know, but I can't wait forever. So I'll dig. Nightwim bowl me over if you want to a say in this. Okay. Finding himself unstruck by any happy hand of the heavens, he bends to dig. And soon, scraping earth away with the end of his ill-used wand, Falak uncovers the secret of the story Lake Isle. Or stony, sorry. Okay, let's see. Okay, we got a six, so my friend. Well, it's a rock. This is fine. Actually, sometimes, yeah. What's nice about rocks is if you don't have to feel responsible for them. Are you just a rock? I wonder what they considered you. Whoever puts you here. Benning gives it a thug. It's quite loose. So he gets his hands under it, hoping to heave it out. And almost falls on his butt. Oop, it's light. Why is it light? He asks the great and solemn no one surrounding him. A familiar voice calls him then. Falak? That's you out there, Falak? What an interesting choice you've made. Falborn, yeah, I'm... Hold on, I'm coming back. You'll float, won't you? Let's wrap you in... in where's my oil cloth? Let's wrap you in that, in case you don't like water. To swim back is ungraceful. The bagstone bobbing tied at Falak's waist. Malil found their position. The Gorgons gathered silent in the old quarry. What directed you out there? Didn't know this was a lake. I don't wholly understand myself. Falak's rock is peculiar. Other than ever, its odd properties would seem to make it. Of water and star of wishing salt and mended laughter, a stone old story begins to tell itself. 
Okay, cool. Right, so we've got a Geist of Ogmore, Rager, Raccoon, and then one full cards on turn three. Okay. Oh, shit. I hate that. That F button. Screw you, F button. Right. Let's aid you to start then. And then she's going to go here to start. Okay, we have the Rager. She's going to Guardian from here. You're going to move up and interfuse this. And then Discus onto you. Of course you dodged. Okay. Okay. Good shot. Good kill. Okay, interfuse. This. And shackle you. Oh, wish we had to hit the raccoon, honestly. You can't see the raccoon. Okay. Just shoot that guy. Let's shield shear you. And strike you again. Good. She's going to go on the wall with you. And defuse this. And discus. Okay, cool. Okay, so here's the last one at the moment that we have to kill. So let's find it. You move forward. There he is. Okay. Interfuse that. And then splinter blast. Discus, maybe? Yeah, discus. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's kind of weird having three magic users. Right. So, one of these two. Well, you found the weird rock thing, so you can have it. Days go by, the battle at Ivy Knoll Quarry becomes another gristle crackling Gorgon Blue memory. Phallic palms over the stone he found, maybe for no other reason than that its strangenesses, its textures, its contours are becoming familiar. That's how he discovers its secret. What's this I'm touching? Hey, that shadow on the hillside. Turned out it was an old dry well. I'm fairly sure nothing will, you know, ski were out and devour us. Wax has been tamped into a groove in the otherwise hard, smooth surface. 
sweating wax, softened by the fire's nearness. Mm, hey, Valak? Oh, hey. Hmm. Oh, hey. I didn't catch what you... But... Hmm. Screwing first a thumb down through the wax, Valak squeezes his fingers in. Something's been preserved in the... And pinches loose a rolled slip of paper. Ah, hmm. The ancient note is scrawled in the runes Falak can't read. A map links star reckonings with hill sh shapes. A diagram swims with stick images, swirls in a repeated shape that must be the rock. So for three tick logs of a fire, Falak will study it. Comparing constellations, interpret interpreting the sketches of a hurried hand. Takes two people, by the looks of it. Yeah, to wash a rock? Bait it, he said, suggests reverence. True, it suggests reverence. I guess it does suggest it. Unfortunate, that it looks to require two people. I guess. Long after the fire is embers, Falak is up a map musing. Wait, I do know that ridge. That's apple tree land. Hmm. Yeah, if it was just me, I feel like I'd leave tonight. Okay. Right, so he's going to have some kind of opportunity, right? Right, well, first of all, we're going to secure here. Let's find an item. Okay, so we got ingot, farrel. Okay, dodge. Dodge is good for you, I'd say. Now we can go and build something there, so we'll go with an outfitter. Okay, that's done. Now we can come here. Oh, we need three legs points for that. Okay. That costs three as well. That costs one. Okay. Let's go do this thing then. Dim and cold, a summer sunrise. It's been a strange year, no doubt. Falak discovered a strange rock buried on a lonesome lake isle. It weighed less than a pickle pot, but in his thoughts it became a mountain. For secreted in wax among his contours, he discovered a note, a map with drawn instructions. I know, you don't have to say so. So, on an early summer morning, shadows on the land, making it all like a glimpse of another age, another world. A morning like this one. Is it all right for me to feel called away and go? Will he embark? How do you invoking our brotherly bond? What did you want? You cannot go alone. Okay. So, I think you go. Right, so they're going to go there. So that means that the others can go build that then. Okay.
Yeah, I'd stake my son's breakfast on it. This here's the place he means. I'm really... I've really done it, haven't I? This boy is liable to fall in love with me now. Such a nuisance. A bright, cool day. I don't know why I talk to you and feel listened to. I don't care what it looks like. It's nice. Should I worry about him? Fallock tenderly tucks the rock inside some waterproof sacking. It's the end of the journey, almost. Thorn feeds a frivolous fire. That woman's not back. Good chance she cheated you. Been a long piece of mourning now, hasn't it? Oh, what are you doing there? Nothing? She's coming from the other direction. Not anything. Nope. Guess that's why I didn't spot her. How'd you know that I was there? Mm, oh. Hey, talking about it. Basically, I have an extended sense through the things around me. Sometimes it's entirely subconscious. He's got the mystic's gift, Valak. Yes, that's maybe the short way to say it. Well, wow. You're a real mystic. Hmm? And quite handsome to boot, if you don't mind me saying. Oh, who? Me? Um, so about the pool? Oh. Oh, well, yes, it's... Anyway, it's... Where I remember it being, of, of course it was. Let's lunch. Let's, let me lie down a moment, and I'll hike with you back up there. Shouldn't take longer than a couple of hours. Young, sturdy man like you should have no trouble. So after lingering for a late morning meal, the woman, Jan Lera, whose ranch is nearest the mountain, leads them up. Yeah. The rain will move the rocks around sometimes, but it'll never not the wait. It's never not the slopes I learn my herbs on. Chuckle of water, happy in its path, damp, neutrally smells, and the spicy aroma of cinder broom. All year round, it sings its tune, just like this. Never frozen, never too warm or icy, just like this. You see these big old rock spiders? Whoops, now I see why you went that way round. Been a holy place sometimes. Well, lots of holy places were a thing folks needed. Nowadays we don't think that way. But it is neat. Fed from deep below, I guess I've heard. Whoa, yeah. This guy, that's not even eight legs. That's eight fishing poles. Not poisonous, though, I've heard. Its original name is one of those hefty to pronounce old words, but it's translated as Starfall Spring. Starfall Spring. Starfall Spring. Hmm. Like it? You should see it at night. No why it's called that. Here we go. Get up here and you can scoot yourself down on your butt. Almost got to. It's so slippery. The rain smooth rock is salted with dirt and gravel. Ugh. The mountain continues higher, where it can be heard battling tireless winds. Great boulders guard the water. Always that same temperature. A real wonder of the wild world, isn't it? The name, though, for some reason, captures my imagination. I think as for the name, just wait. It's from how it looks under the stars, like someone knocked a few of them down, took a limit in the water, like beautiful things, like gemstones, I mean. Is that it? Whoop. So... But I do need to get back and check the ox isn't dead. I'll come along in a week's time. I'll bring supplies for you. 
You're one of those nice people, I guess. Weird. Well, I'd say we're fine, but... But I guess I should just... Um, here, maybe, yeah. Burn some drift moss. I saw some down there. Burn it at the foot of the mountain, so we can help you up. Carry whatever you'll spare us. We look for smoke, then. A week or ten days, make it. Ten? Yes, I'll... But thank you for your... Outland gallantry. Hmm, and... And well, well, we'll see how it goes. Maybe it won't take so long. Whatever you're doing, and you can come spend time at my ranch. Sure, that could happen. All right, watch me fall back down and break my... Nope, here we go. Okay, I'll... She's smitten, don't you think? No idea what you mean. I hope you plan on being fair about it, at least. Hmm. Falak studies his instructions once more as the pale light pinkens and passes from the sky. They'll take time, too, to prepare a camp. And as night blossoms, hey, Thorn, come look. In a, in a second, I was prepping a torch. We won't need one. So Thorn clambers up to gaze on something she remembered the rest of her life. It's water, I guess. You're not having the reaction I expected. Mm. It's just happened. I... Well, it was a moment ago. It's all I... I mean, well, after twilight, at some point. Assume it's... Um, it's pretty distracting. Mm? So far as... Oh... As far as whole stone baiting, this'll be night one. Oh, did you see that? Yep, they're big and bright. Guess we're high up. Hmm, and so, so it's night one. We're trying this? I'm embarrassed suddenly. I get it, but but it was the whole thing, right? Yeah, so here. He reaches out, lets the rock down in one palm until it floats and pulls his arm back. The water feels weird, warmer than air. A phantom sensation lasts on the skin, even after Falak withdraws his hand, like an invisible current, churning. Didn't feel like that earlier, yeah? Hmm. Anyway, we bathe this rock. We start to try and bathe it, yeah. And that's what they'll do. Holding it under, pouring water over it with their cupped hands, watching the water stream off its gleaming smooth surface. The bind stone fights submersion. They'll wind up taking shifts, inevitable boredom and mountain Mounting exhaustion turns what first seemed a whimsical task into a muscle-chewing challenge. That's night one. Ugh. Yeah. Another night to another to another. Evening to midnight to the black early hours. The sun peaks like a puzzled friend each morning, pitying their cold bones in that cramped mountain crook. Sometimes among mindless stretches of task, they feel peace. Sometimes the world's beauty beats on the hardened senses of even its worst worn and weariest waves on a rocky coast. Reduces the resistance, reveals dark, fresh awe, where studied sun-bleached impressions of things had seemed so solid and permanent. It's twelve days on. Overcast at noon, that grinning woman, Janlera, returns. Figured you wouldn't see my smoke, so I just carry these things up myself. Weeho. Weeho? They take the night off to talk and eat together, enjoying the bread, meat, and wine she's brought. So I did 
and rummage a little. Ask the brute who now keeps the red orchard. And I pruned from him a little sprig of lore I hadn't heard, that this pool was in fact made by a star that fell to earth long, long ago in the youth of sands and water. It's certainly in the name. I don't... Wait, you mean... You mean because it's Starfall Spring, you think... Could that be what it means? The following morning, she's up before both of them. Oh, you're packed up? Hmm? Oh. Um, what? If I... Well... Okay, well, listen. I should probably clear something up. No, I'll go first. I have to apologize to you. I probably made you think... And Genlera, ranch owner and failing windy heart, gives grim accounting of her casual on leading ways and a beloved husband she has at home, who is not at all deceased as she may have implied on first meeting Falak and Thorne. She stoops as she trudges down the mountain, heavy still with the weight of her confession. What? <laughs> they'll return to the rhythm of their labours poor boy and why were you born this way Jan Lera you scoundrel you heartbreaker several nights pass and they're continued taking they've continued taking their turns baiting the rock and drying by the fire so it doesn't feel like this needed both of us makes me sorry to thorn this is just what she gets i guess being my friend uh hey hmm um oh what did you oops what the little rock beast paddles and hauls itself ashore. It got bored, I guess. I should go. Yes, follow it, you mean. Go, I'll catch up. Hmm? Already Falak has to hurry, leaping down the night boulders on a path to scramble to who knows where. Okay. So these two are heading over here then, I guess. Your enemies advance their plans, okay? Hmm, we're getting a lot over here in the Thrixel column. Okay, now. They're not allowed to do that. They, they can go prepare defenses. Let's go for tier three. You know, I can't go forever. Oof. Feet fumbling, light falling. Oh, failing. By tonight, it will be two full days they've been walking. Don't know why I'm, or what I'm expecting from you, though. I don't know. I don't know. What happened? Hopefully I didn't offend her. Hmm. Rock will probably just open back up, don't you think? On her own? Sorry, I think it might be best not to wonder. Leave it for the morning, I... Hmm. Well, it's just one of us could have bottled up some of that spring water. I obviously could have at some point, but you could have suggested that at the time, Falik. Sorry, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm just worn down. Fatigue and frayed nerves soon drive them to silence. 
than to sleep. Oh, rock is on the way. But dawn glows in the dew shining crest of an alert stone head. What? Already go? Hmm, except. I'll pack the camp up this time. You go, you go first. Hmm, sure, all right. That's unnecessary, but okay. They trek over the scrubby feet of mountains onto sheets of yellow gray field land. The threadbare fields are clutched up onto the knees of thinning hills. On these wind hollowed hills, Falak and Thorn trace the path of their unflagging small striding guide. How many nights is this? Six? That's too low. Since the pool, I think it's nine. Or seven or eight. Could be twelve. Pah, yeah. What I think of is how easy it is to get people to follow you if you say nothing and go forward. Hmm. The long slow chase ends the following morning. They are hidden from a cloudy sky by musky woods. The rocking steps. How long has it been? Just a few moments. What's it showing us? Don't know. I keep waiting for a... Unreality bears close to being. They see a hanging image, a light swarm, a memory. The spectre of a home that bitterly had stood well before the towns they know well before the wood it was a fearful place for the girl who lived there a place she couldn't leave for though she was born a blissful amber found girl she became something else instead she became a girl chased by wildfire a girl tangled chewed by flames but the glowing jaws clenched round her knees her parents pried them free, brought her back over the hill to the house, and here left her living in the care of spring. Spring entrusted her to summer. Summer hid her in fragrant shades for fall to find. Grandmother Winter visited rain to cool her painful feet, and none of them once allowed this girl to starve. Three years there would wound together like roots, wild fed and weather blessed nights when the inside of the house was darkest she was happiest she'd wait for twilight up on a clover top hill top there uh, clover top hill scowling down moonrise but welcoming stars and once it's night she saw a powerful thing oh the falling star To the mountain she followed, where she'd seen the thing plummet. Twenty days on young brittle legs. To the rim of her crater, which was brimming with star, star melt. And the drifting there, stone, opened up before her eyes. The orphan girl, Nezessa, met little... Ogogan that day, Ogogan out of darkness. Ogogan, whose mother, the knight, must have adopted this girl. For thereafter, they were sisters on an ever path adventure. Oh, every path, sorry. Lucky and free, looked on by unnumbered family. Did a mystic flame flare in the girl's scarred heart? bringing this stone alive, or was it the stone that instilled in her its celestial power? And that's never mattered to either of them. The often Nezessa, Krantz, became Nezessa the Starkin child, 
a shadow given rambler, a solver of troubles, a crafter of miracles. And to her dear ones, always the guardian, until the final night when she left this world alone. She was a young woman who never went home. Oh, Gogan, you know these woods? I think these woods, these woods are strange. How so? Not that I disagree. I have dreams sometimes where I'm on a hilltop and they come and start building walls around me. A bunch of nobody people. For some reason, I just watch and this forest. Hmm, don't know. Yeah, I... Yeah, there's this image to me of roots the tree roots going down deeper than the ground and they come out the other side and there are trees there too but but yeah you kind of get a sense too it's like a kitchen stale arguments stand still there for generations Wants us to go. She wants us to. Would you want to stay for whatever reason? Me? Sometimes I'd be a, a heron beetle or just a heron. A heron beetle? Sometimes that flies away. Obviously, flies away. And people watch it and sigh and say, Ah, it's a good omen. What about you now? We know what you wanted us to know, I think. Was it the whole thing, your story? About your, would you call her your big sister? The truth of it has a bite it wasn't expecting, but some happy details too. Hmm. Seems quite courageous. You're welcome to keep, keep, hmm, keep coming along with us. I don't know if, hmm, why? She's welcome to travel with us, is all I'm saying. I mean, isn't she? Okay, let's see. Right, so we got a two on a d6, so this one. We're neither of us overly loud people. Hmm. And it might be that this celestial traveler remembers a voice in her sleep. A man's warm voice, his arms after so long listening to the cloud, cold of the lake. The quiet sounds of his caring. And even times he spoke his heart, knowing his voice struck something that was like an earless, mindless, as a path stone. It might be that Ogogan remembers all that, or it might not. Perhaps Falak will one day ask. Or I suppose it's also possible this is always the plan. Nazessa, that ancient mystic, she left her friend behind. Yes, to be woken and to live again, but also to find another person to walk next to. I remember you offering us a roof sometime. I still think the likeliest explanation of all is that she can't help herself. She just likes you. Dawn over the house will shimmer, no different than it did the day they set out, but all three of them return changed. The journey's taken the wonders witnessed and wrath. Carve new wrinkles in the face and heart. Okay, cool. Right. Move it on a little bit. Okay, now. Let's prepare defenses there. Tier 3. And those who can go there because we're gonna have this soon okay 
Okay, so those are done. Now, so. It's going to come from there, but is it going to go that way or that way? I'm not sure. So we should probably go prepare defenses there. Tier 3. Okay, they're all doing their thing. Let's see, yeah, we're getting one Rixel on that. That's all right. Oh, here's the incursion. Okay. So it's coming this way. Okay, so we... We made the right decision, I think. Now, you need to go patrol there. Oh, hang on, not yet, apparently. Okay, now, patrol. Oh, we need three for patrols, okay. Oh, hang on. Uh, come on. Let's go here. And then help. Okay, let's just defend then. Right. The tricks will have come. They have indeed. Okay, let's see what we're going to do. Let's get our handy die. Okay, uh, charge into battle, take the fight to them. I honestly don't think our guys should be charging anywhere with like so many mystics, but okay, so we've got haste and uh, potency and damage is up as well. Good. Okay, Bard, Seeker, Thrusk, Dwemer, two of these lads as well. Okay. So we have guys coming that way. So it's not a terrible defensive position, at least. Right, so... We can do volley of arrows. Potentially kill you. I like that idea. But that could be what one of these um, other guys do, right? Okay, so... You interfuse... No, you're going to have to move up, I think. Move to here. And interfuse that. Good. Okay. Then discus. You. Good. Okay, let me move you up next to your brother. You interfuse... Oh, come on, give us something that isn't. Okay, that'll have to do, I guess. Then Sprinter Blast. Won't reach anywhere just yet. Okay, so... I'm gonna interfuse. Can't reach anything else, is the problem. Okay. Interfuse... That, so you can help over there at some point. Now, yeah, um, move there, and volley of arrows. It's going to be these two. Okay, come on, kill. Nice.
then it would be nice if these guys were able to uh, I think we probably need people in this end honestly so let's see move there now you're going to move to here and ambush there and move you up to here You're going to pull back for now, just Guardian. So you can be on either side then. You're going to come here and interfuse this. And then interfuse this. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Oh, and that's cheating. That has to be cheating. Okay, so. Thorn. Come here. Do that. Good. And bite. Let's see. Let's discus you. Good. Let's interfuse that so you have it available. Good. And then let's strike you. Excellent. You're now going to splinter blast from there. Yeah. There we go. Okay, excellent. You didn't move here. You try and kill that guy. Beautiful. And you get another shot. So let's go for you. Okay. Good. Then you're done. Okay. Another bard. Might follow your arrows. Where's the new bard? Where could he have come from? Probably over here, right? So we'll have to start moving out. This one of ours you to start. Actually should have got one of the newer dudes to do that, right? Splinter Blast. Oh, hang on. You're the one. I think discus from there, right? Yeah. Okay, Rusk is gone. Now let's go looking for the new person. Interfuse there. There you are, okay. That's not going to reach. Right, we'll be a little patient then. Thorn. Move you to here. You'll stand there sort of walling. Move you up to here. Then you interfuse that. Discus 
from there won't reach you. Okay, so you move you here. We bring you to there. Yeah, I think the big thing about having this many mystics is how much we're actually able to or how many things are available to interfuse with it's going to be an issue okay oh so we went that way okay that's fine right, splinter blast mm, let's see you might actually just be able to kill him. Oh, you can't even see him. So, that's a no then. Move there. And take the shot. Okay, good. You're going to drive that way. And she's going with you. Interfuse the fire. And then you can do as far as there. Oh, hang on. Compulsion you to there. Nice. Okay, good. Oh, you can't quite reach the campfire. Okay. Okay, it's going to be the same deal, right? Yeah. Okay. okay we kill the bard next turn. Oh, we have this, okay. Uh, cancel. Hang on, find your arrows from that side. Right, there we go. Right, well done, everyone. Malil and Falak have fallen in love, okay. Lucky you didn't do anything with the Lady of the Lake then, right? Okay, and then they improved as well. Nice. Double bites, that seems like cheaty to me. Okay. okay, let's continue preparing the defenses there. Okay, let's defend again. Okay, now let's see what it decides to do this time. We got a four, so we use our knowledge of the land, harry their approach. The enemy ranks absorb uncounted fire as they create coverless, crest coverless hills. Okay, hopefully this is going to be a good thing. Intimidation, two damage to start the mission. Okay, cool. We have a Seeker, Thrusk, Bard, Scorer, scorer Dweaver, and a seek, another Seeker. Okay. Right. And this map is actually more difficult just because of the layout. Right, so... You move out here a little bit. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, there's lots there. 
So volley of arrows could hit all of them. Let's see that. Okay, good. Killed one enemy straight away. And she can wait there. Okay. Where's the other um, regular person? There, okay. So you go there and wall. Okay. She's going to come over and help these guys. And ambush there. Then come here and interfuse with the chimes. Okay, and then splinter blast you. Oh, blocked. Okay, well, we tried. Next, we bring you here. Interfuse. Yeah, everything is. It's kind of the wrong way around, isn't it? Let's see that, though. We know you're going to burrow as well, so we could probably discus from there. Good. You then step here and aid Thorn. He's going to be doing a lot of fighting over here, and then you guardian. Oh, it actually, for some reason, did that. Okay. Good shot there. Killed you. Right. So, discus on you. Excellent. could strike you but you should shield cheer first oh, I forgot we could basically do that more than once yeah and um, we couldn't compulsion you yeah we'll do that at the end you're going to strike good now yeah, these guys Wait, let's first of all, I'm going to shoot you. Okay, dodged. Compulsion, you. To there. There we go. And you go there. Okay, so we have the bard to deal with. Uh, okay, do we run and a seeker as well? Okay, so there's the seeker. If we could find something to interviews out there, it would be good. We can discus from there, we can't hit you. Splinter blast from there, doesn't reach you either. Let's interfuse that. And steal fire and set you on fire. Beautiful, lovely stunt there. Okay, then let's see quail. Do that or that. Yeah, do that. Okay, killed you. Now we slip that bard to deal with. And there's one more enemy somewhere. So volley of arrows on you. Good hit. Then we start moving you guys forward.
Let me interfuse that. Okay. Steel fire from there. We can't quite get it to you. Okay, so we'll just wait then. You're going to back them up. Okay, there's that guy. Okay, another, another new bard. Okay, let's go. Discus. Dodged, okay. Just strike you then. Good. I think these two are probably going to be able to take out this bard. Oh yeah. Okay, which means, depending on where the other one is, it could be, there's one there, but there's something else as well. So Quail is going to move over here, and give us a shot on you, good. And you move over here, and just move back to Wall, because we're trying to find this other enemy, right? You're going to move up there so that you're in the way. And you go here and defuse that. Then you can move up on wall there. Nice. Oh, there you are. Okay. So we're right to go to that door. Uh, let's see. Interfuse the stool. Splinter pass is probably going to kill you. Yeah. Now yeah, let's get to this door. Fog your arrows. So, oh, no. Like that. Okay. Dodge. Nice. Will you move to there? Well, it's going to move up here. Corner of fire won't meet, so she's going to ambush here. Uh, or maybe here in case you appear. Let's do it like that. In case you appear near us. Okay, and then we move you to here. Probably should have actually left you there, honestly. Let's bring you over here so you can bust out the door and beat the crap out of it. You're gonna move out here and interfuse. there. Oh look it went sneakily like that, okay. Well let's see. Open the door. Interfuse that. Oh hi there bard. Splinter Blast, that guy, Thorn then, comes next to you, you go there, you move over there as well.
good strike. Should be a kill. Okay, excellent. Quail moves here. Then Yeah, I guess do that. Okay, so it didn't move back far enough. Which is gonna be a problem for it. Shield shear. Then kill. Nice. Okay, so we get one level up out of that. Okay, so can we get some moss? Yes, we can. Wait, let's get the quelling moss going. Okay, they get better, of course they do. Okay, now we can um, recruit and we actually have enough points for it as well. I'm gonna have to go deal with that too. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just go with the new person. Recruit. What's watching for trouble? Got plenty of that already. Just watching. You ever feel like you were born in the wrong place? You look around at the lives of your friends and they seem happy. You can't for the life of you understand why. You hold the family shovel, the loom, the cooking pot, but none of them seem to come alive in for you. My great spirit came alive for me. It connected me with something bigger than myself. No matter how many beatings I take, I'll be forever grateful for that. That sounds wonderful. Do you think I could find a place in that world? I've got a good feeling about it. We can give you a rundown of the basics and see where it goes from there. Okay, so we she's got to be one or two. So I'm not even, I'm not gonna roll a D6, I'm gonna roll a D4. Because <laughs> having that many mystics, they're, you know, it sounds like um, it's something that would be cool, but I'm pretty sure you're just going to run out of scenery is the problem with, with that. So let me find my D4 and my magic bag of die, or dice, sorry. Uh, yeah, come on. Come on, D4. Right, well, we have D20s, D12s, D8s, D6s, D10s, ah, D4, okay. So we got a three, which means, okay, another hunter. Not going to have many tanks in this run then. But we could now go for um, double quelling moss, maybe. So prepare recruit, done. Okay, good. Now, uh, Quelling Moss, yes. No question about it. Now, next. Let's go fix this patrol. Okay. Then, oh. Let's get that up to tier three. Separating the brothers now. Okay, good. Now we've got to go and deal with this. Let's scout first. Okay, then patrol. So a new person's gonna get a run here. And that's assault. Oh, 
old form cabin stretched beneath tom fly veins. Let's walk closer, right, Valborn? Why would he listen? Only their uh, back barking echoes answer them. Wait, where's Falborn? How many breaks does he have to take? Weird. I thought he was right. I thought, hmm. This place lies to your ears, I guess. Don't even smell him. They scour their steps for the last sign of Falborn. Wonder if it was an accident, him disappearing. Oh, hey, an off branching path. This is neat. This is probably where he went. An almost triangular crevice, and beyond there's a tight twisting tunnel. Below them, in the colding ground, is the fungal glow, and an arm of somebody we know. Yep, yep, yep. This is exactly the thing I ought to be doing by myself. Me and the unspooky mushrooms. Oh, and the treasure cave, which is, I suppose, what this is. Under blade sharp stones, a wider space, a firmer shine. There's a powerful smell, a heart smell, the heart of the mountain. At first glance, he thinks a massive grey man is hunched over a blue-white flame. But he realises, what is that? Unfamiliar language seems to twitch and change on every surface. I expect you probably sprout tentacles when I touch you, and you clench me up, squeeze my ribs to splinters. He's still going to do it. I'm curious about even just the origins, the significance of what you're holding. Okay, well, let's take a roll and see. Okay. We get a one, so we know which one that is. Well, I mean, you're practically daring me. What I'm saying is... This is your fault. Falborn wiggles his gut knife into the seam between gem and setting. And only a moment after he does so, an indistinct tremble travels up the blade. And that's all I messed up sound. The... Okay. Harmonic vibrations. They swell. They sing in the joints of his skeleton. Falborn bends near, lowers his knife. I don't see any damn... A thunderclap, a luminous flood, a wet, bloody odour, and a sulphurous scent of fresh split rock. Time seems to pause and then the world fills in with white. And then fades into normal motion. Colour. Ah, oh. Where'd the... What did you just do? Falburn. There was a brilliant gemstone. I found it here. I felt almost compelled to claim it. I tried, and now the gem's gone, which is like, gems shouldn't just go away. It's all right. You'll survive, it looks like. Oh, what? Repeat that? Reach up. Give your eye a little loving squeeze. A short while later, it can at least see, I can see, through it. Facets of things that shouldn't have facets. They'll emerge in daylight and encounter the enemy they sought. And Falborn will look at things differently from then on. Okay. Okay, so Dweaver, Thrusk, Draxel, Nightmare, Bard, and Seeker. Yeah, things are definitely getting worse. Okay, and we have that guy as well. Water Spirit dude running away. Okay, so we have to deal with these assholes. Right, so interfuse this. Splinter Blast will hit, yeah, hit them all, good. Okay, the one we really want to get dodged, that's fine. Quelling Moss. You can move and do that, right? 
and so can you. So let's get the two of them in decent position to do this. So we start with one quelling moss on them all. Then you move up. Give us another quelling moss on them all. Okay. Then you move here. Interfuse the stone. It was a discus that will kill both of those, hopefully. Okay, killed. Oh, yeah, it did. Okay, good. Then Thorn comes up here. Okay. Oh, there's two nightmares now. That's not good. Right. You move here. Interfuse. Yeah, see, this is the problem. They very quickly run out of things to interfuse with. Discus. All of them. Think about compulsion in a minute. Let's get quelling moss working. That last one keep blocking. That nah, got you that time. Thorn's now going to go here. Oh, hi there, bird. And other thing. Uh, let's strike you. Good. Nice and dead. You move up there to wall. And you move here as well. You're definitely trouble for us. Oh yeah, two lots of trouble. Oh, that bard needs to needs to die pretty soon. Okay, so interfuse this. Then bone lance you. Good. Okay, let's see. Right. Hang on. You need to move where you're <coughs> less likely to get hit. Quail's gonna come as well. And we're gonna quelling moss. Can't hit both of them is the problem. Let's check something for first. I don't want to shoot you, I just want to examine you. Oh, sh just let me examine it. Why can't I? Well, it's probably on here, right there. Okay, so you have force poison. That's what I wanted to see. Because now I know I don't need to poison you anymore. You're dead. Okay. Now. Qualimus. That guy. Okay, he has one poison on him. I kind of want you to get the the bard, but now you have to go deal with this guy, I think. 
shield share and kill okay good then let's compulsion you over there that one dies Oh jeez, okay. That's basically quelling moss, right? Okay, so that's put us on a timer for her. So interviews this and discus. Okay, we'll come back to you. You're moving here. Shield chair. Good. Then hit. Excellent. Now, um, Quali Moss isn't going to work because you're not close enough. How about you? Yeah, you're gonna have to hit your own person to do that. Come back to you. Discus would hit both of them. It's not great, honestly. Still have to do it though. Fuck. We need to step to, is that a good spot? I don't think so, but you're going to step up to there anyway. And do that. And Quinn goes here. Kind of need to kill you. Can't do it just yet, so we do that instead. Pulsion someone to walk by you, you should kill them. Pulsion you. Oh, you can't go by there, okay. So, compulsion maybe. We can actually compulsion you to move away. Not very far, but. Yeah, and then you're gonna poison everyone again anyway. Let's compulsion you here. Let me bash the shit out of you a bit. Okay, we need to win this turn now. Because she's going to die from poison otherwise, right? Yeah, okay. So, discus. Like so. Oh, fuck's sake, are you kidding me? We're not doing anywhere near enough damage, is the problem. Quelling Moss. Hang on, how much poison does he have on him? He has two poisons, so we need to add two more and then he's dead. You got two poison, but you got 18 health. And you have two poison, so you're dead. So let's ignore you. So let's Quelling Moss. You. No, of course you miss. Okay, so now you have three poison. So one more poison and you're dead. Oh, blocked. Okay, try it again. Okay, you're dead. So they're all dead. 
Thorn can now move to here. Shield cheer you. Oh, fucking. Are you kidding me? Okay. So we could. Okay, we could shield cheer again. Or we could just hit you. What would they do? It's not going to do that much, is the problem. Hmm. I think you're dead, honestly. Because I can't see a way. We strike an enemy guardian. Then she has to do something else. Because the guardian, yeah. Okay, so you have to strike. And then you have to interfuse the loom. Then bone lance. Just hardly anything, unfortunately. Wait, why didn't you die? That's kind of cheating. Okay, well, we're going with this. 15% less accuracy. Oh, look, we would have missed by a point anyway. Okay. Well, now we definitely do win. So, oh, he's got some kind of regen. That's why. Right, well, here. Take that. You're dead. Okay, if the shield chair had it worked, we would have been fine. But look, it's just taking the piss. There you go, you're dead. Okay. So she lost an eye. <laughs> Two people. Look. Oh, God. Two people lost eyes in this cave. Okay, uh, potency. Is it one of our magic people? Let's give it to you. With battle done, they stand still a moment, warmed over by the rays of a lowing, lowering sun. The gem casts a tickle of light on Falborn's thoughts. Hey, luckily you weren't pretty to begin with. What a thing to say. You can still fight. You can see, and see well. I see the edges and facets of things, like I never saw before. It's weird. Sounds like you're gaining something, at least. Who knows, maybe it'll be a diamond person soon. Maybe it'll travel to my heart, under my ribs, and someday you find him in a cold, glittering, impervious jewel. Whether it was wrath or reward, a trap or a twist of coincidence will always be hard to tell. Years will show how deep the changes go. And an ancient god will dream of darkness, fresh dreams of new visions above the earth. Okay. So they get worse. Nice. Okay. So let's secure there. We will definitely find an item. And okay. So he's going to have to come help with this stuff now. We can re recruit a new person though. Right, that's nice. Okay, tier one. So it has to go to you. So now all of those guys have tier one. Stunt chance. I think you're the one that we really want to stunt, right? Because you, you're you're the real damage dealer. Let's recruit. Okay. Yeah, we'll recruit you. 
Oh, not natural brute, and only just clever enough. I don't know if I fit whatever mold you're looking for, but I'll fight if you have me. That's good to hear. If you don't mind me asking, what made the decision for you? Says the woman who just joined and lost an eye. <laughs> the chickens. Huh? A fox got in on them last month and wrecked a bit of havoc. And after... I cleaned up the feathers. I was angry. Not at the fox, but at the chickens. There were enough of them that they might have overwhelmed the fox, but they didn't, or couldn't. I don't know. It wasn't a solid anger. They are chickens, after all. But we are not. Damn right we're not. Come on, let's go. Okay. So... Now we're going to open up to all six possibilities. <laughs> and, oh, this is going to be bad, but yeah, <laughs> he's a mystic. Right. Okay, we're preparing that recruit. That's good. There's something to build down there if we want to. Okay, so um, we don't have enough. Yeah, we know. This is going to be a constant thing, isn't it? No legacy points. Okay, well, what do we do next? Let those guys finish recruiting. Okay, uh, compulsion, vigor. It's going to have to be compulsion, I think, because there aren't going to be that many opportunities to interfuse, as we've seen. So let's gather everyone um, there, yeah? Okay. Right, so we... Oh, what the hell is this? Yeah, we don't want that, please. Oh, I sent everyone to the wrong place. They went to gather over there. Okay. Then we're gonna... Uh, we'd have to build a pass. There's a... Look, there's a... That looks like a pass already. Why do I have to build one now? Okay, well, you lot can do it, I guess. Oh, we're actually building a pass from there. Why can't they just go across here? Now, if this looks exactly like this, then I'm going to... I'm going to be annoyed, but I think it will. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for that. <coughs> okay, take the new guy with you. And go scout there. It's just the brothers that get left behind then at that time. Okay. Now, let's patrol. Okay. Oh, God. Things really are bad, aren't they? Oh, they are patrolling. Okay. Right, that's done. Yeah, so come on, all the new people. Let's go. I mean, what can, what can go wrong with all the new people? Shy in the shadow. I keep looking at the sky. Hmm? Wish I could talk to a Trixel right now. Share a pie. Know what I mean? No. Feel like 
It gets too simple sometimes. Climb this hill and fight. Cross this river and fight. Sweat, bleed, die. It's not easy, but it's simple. Sometimes I think it should be more complicated. Or it should be more complicated. Yeah? You're not saying anything, though. Yeah, no, I... Oh, here we go. Oh, we've seen this one before. These noises aren't what I expected. I'd expect of Trixel. You know what it sounds like? A d domestic squirrel. Yeah, well, we're well away from the place Quail said to meet. Shouldn't be Trixel this way. Yeah, so it's the same thing. Okay. So we've seen this story before, so we'll kind of go through it. You can pause if you haven't seen it and read the stuff. Him and his cat. I try not to click too fast so people can genuinely pause if they want to. Yeah, if, if it had been a while since we saw this, I'd probably read it again, but um, it doesn't make sense when I think it was pretty much in the last video, right? Okay, so we get a four. Okay, well, we're going to do different this time then, because last time I picked this one and this time we got a four on a d4 so we do that he comes back he keeps coming back but how long we're, we're supposing it's been i feel like there should be a reason i don't know some creatures really have a hard time giving up on hollow homes on the dead and anyway this warlock did predict he'd need chasing off and look, look what they've become to each other. So go talk to him. Talk to the cat, me. Don't chase him off. See if, see if he'll realize a little who it is he's scrapping with. And you're going to do what? I'll be busy. Whatever spell of transfer this man worked, by his own admission, he left it incomplete. Saw it almost through, as he put it. So I'm wondering, can another hand's spell clever as I feel I can sometimes be, take up the fabric, find this, the seams and sew the final stitch? I'm just wondering now. Here, here cat, thirsty? Because if you are, find me a bucket with a bottom, or you can dive down the well. Yeah, agreed, but it shouldn't take too long. Okay. And I always thought love would be easy for me. I thought I'd just wait for someone to think I was perfect the way I was. But there's things you learn on your way from here to there. And on your way home. Ina, see if you'll come inside. Hear that? I'm sure I probably agree with you. He's all right company, not fidgety. In the oven's hot glow, the cottage seems not much different. There's one layered on smell, cold, dark and unfamiliar and a hue to the shadowling that perhaps wasn't there before. 
Yeah, felt like a blind dog licking around for corn kernels, mostly just combing through that journal and figuring out what he'd left undone. So then I had to button up the pants, so to speak, of this weird, creepy smell. Big thing was we burned what's called phantom freesia. Seems our warlock collected it, tried it, but didn't use it. And with that, there were some fairly eldritch incantations. A soul unshelled and bared for swallowing, shorn of its hull, shucked even of its shadow. I don't blame the guy for leaving them out. Those words just sounded bad. You were chanting his stuff? Well, no, I actually spell cast pretty quiet, I guess. But anyway, things resolved after that. Colour flooded up into him and... Um, resolved. So what even was this? This magic, I mean. It's not interfusion stuff, huh? Is it? Yeah, it's weird. It's... But it kind of is. It kind of was. Only a more unguided form, I think. Like letting things bleed into each other. Letting fire merge a flower without the personality element. In between my part, normally, without me nobly interacting. So, interfusing with the human medium, I don't know, isn't that what we might be seeing when magic just seems to happen? You'd know a lot better than me. Well, anyway, I don't know exactly what's changed, except there's more calm in him, less panic, almost more awareness, maybe self-awareness? Shy gives to the shadow his long, unreadable gaze, and he takes a step inside, and another. This good? I don't know. Oh. Comes an eyes of light being split down, it seems, and a blinding on brightness, somehow painful to see. In that moment, without cognition, it seems strange claws may have snatched them from the river of time. But they're here again, whole. Looking for me? Where are you? Should we have all just stuck together? My fault. The voice through the window breaks their stupor. Looking for Malil and... Ina Elm, you inside this glowing hut? Trixel trickling down this way, through the veils. Please answer. We're inside, yeah. It almost seems he senses them going. As was that Malil. Ah, was that Malil? Good. You're both there and ready. For the shadow melted cat then decides... Okay, what's the shadow metal cat going to decide then? Oh, it got cocked on a wire. That doesn't count. Right, four to nuzzle Malil. I asked if... Oh, hmm. I think he remembers that you're responsible for his existence. You're practically his mom. Was that a fart? It was clearly a kick. <laughs> well, just careful letting him sleep in the tent is all I'd say. Others are aware, holding a line of two, just this way, a little down in a little valley. And so were brought together two figures of story, Malil and the Shadow Cat, who protected her. Long and lightly, no, I guess long and darkly may we roam, hmm? Huh? What happened? Thanks to fire, like instantly. You should definitely ask Malil about that one. Okay. 
So we have this new thing, this stupid thing. Yeah, this is bad. Okay. Right. New dude. Go there and interfuse that. Leo, uh, go there, interfuse the chest, and then interfuse the bucket, and new dude interfuse that, okay. Thorn, uh, let's see, let's move quail first. Quail, go here. And then ambush like so. And then we bring you in here. Then you come to here. And a silk step you over here. Okay. Now Thorn move forward. Okay. So three rooms to go Can I let you guardian go there so you have a view through there you're gonna go this way Here. Oh, forgot silk step is two, right? So go there. Let me bring you here. Okay, now let's open the door. Oh, and reveal three lovely monsters, okay? Well, Let's quelling moss them all. One was blocked, okay. Then you move back here. Quail is gonna go here. And quelling moss. Is that worth it? I guess so. Let's give you some extra poison. Then bring these guys over here. We draw from that. We draw there. You're gonna go there and then guardian. You come here and then we draw. Interfuse there. Okay. Oh, new dudes. Oh, nice. Okay. So let's see. Quelling moss. Right. You're going to have to get probably there. And quelling moss, like so. Move you here. Quelling moss, like so. Interfuse that again. And interviews that because something is coming through the door. And then she's going to withdraw from the chest and interviews 
this. Okay, and then we draw from that for now. You're going to start moving in now. Okay, so it's bite. Uh, no, attack. Good. Okay, nice. Good block there. Oh no, quail. Quelling moss. Yeah, we kinda need Thorn to move out of the way, right? Let's move you here. And do that. Good. Move quail here. Then do that. Excellent. Okay, now you're going to shield shear the bard. Strike the bard. Excellent. You're going to move here. Interfuse the bucket. Oh yeah, these two assholes, right? Calling us everything again. Okay, now. Let's check something. Okay, you have six poison and nine health, so you won't die. It has four poison, it won't die. It's gonna die. It's gonna die. It's gonna die. It's gonna die. And then we have these two, okay. So. Let's go constrict you. Oh, blocked. Nice. Thanks for that. Right, shields here. You. And we strike that to kill it. Nice. Go on, cat. Thank you. Okay, so it's dead. Which means that these guys can now move out here. I'm going to move to there. Bone lance won't quite. Constrict you. Okay, good. Managed to hobble you. See, again, there's nothing in the room that they can they can use. Okay, so I 
diffuse with you. And flare. Okay. There's no way for you to get around there, so you just come here. So we're just going to poison the crap out of them, I guess. Good. And try flare again. Blinded them, good. Bone lance won't reach. You've got to step up and interviews yeah, something else. Good. Okay, then constrict you. Excellent. Yeah, you move up. Shield chair. Then attack. Okay. Right, so one is dead. You've only got actually one poison, that's crazy. Okay. We'll go here. Blocked. Okay, that's why. Can you quell moss from there? Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. Poison's up to two. Withdraw. We'll Oh no, hang on. Constrict. Excellent. Hobbled. Let's get you here. Shield chair. And then bash. Right, so you're dead. She's going to move in though. And compulsion you. Oh, you can't actually move anywhere. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of interesting. Shackle. There we go. Dead. Okay, so maybe Thorn levels up is going to be close. Yeah, not quite. I only got five for that. Okay. All right, so we have block. Um, block is nice, but I'll leave you with the dodge, so... the new guy gets something okay there you go enjoy the trickster are slain battles led them down a boulderous roam where gray grass matches the cloud cloud color someone doing dragon pictures hey jovier old jovier folkspire the magic man you badly hurt hmm so what's your favorite monster oh uh probably mods moth like the idea of a giant moth drawn to listen to great poetry. Got to be a classic like the Hydra. Think about it. Everything it does, it does with the input of six or seven heads. Must be good at compromise. Those answers are fine, but some of us will always love a dragon. Dragons glide on that line between the imaginary and the real. To me... It's a great example of how a thing becomes so fully realized through thought that it is real in all but the final and most mundane details. Hmm. Can't wait until we're around a fire. The stories will soar. Okay, and he's improved their strategies. Okay, he gets more health. That's not good. Well, none of these are good, but I can't help seeing it every time. <laughs> okay, so we secure there. Yeah, we're definitely finding an item. Get everyone to do it. Um, then over here, let's prepare defenses with the two brothers. You have an incursion. 
is coming to here, okay. Which means that we should kind of gather people here. So I want you to quail. Basically I want the, the top guys. So let's leave the two new people to do that. And actually we could have those that are two in there as well, right? So let's maybe leave that for now. Yeah, they're going to be more useful and they're going to get some stuff as well. So we move it on. We're going to defend as soon as they arrive. Okay, let's defend. Okay, Thrixel have come. Right, let's let the die decide. Four, okay. This could be a disaster. Okay, good. Same as before. Right. So, yeah, this is a problem. This is a problem. They're all kind of problems. Right. So, let's get you as far forward as possible. Hi there, Mr. Bard. And interviews that. Okay, got all those assholes back there. Just discus you to start. Oh, blocked. Nice. Okay. Right, will you aid her? Good. Then we'll leave Volley of Arrows on you and hopefully kill you. Okay, not bad. I'll probably take you down now, first round. You come and stand next to your brother. Quelling Moss. On you. Yeah, let's just keep it up on you. Go there. Shoot one of these assholes. Nice. Quail's gonna come join you. Gonna add to the quelling moss on this dude. Beautiful. Then go there. Kind of want to kill you, but there's nothing we can do at the minute about that. Let's go here and good compulsion, you though. No, we can't. can't. Can't reach you. Let's interfuse that. Then discus. Could just kill an enemy. Or we go for you. Let's see that. Okay, killed you. Kill two. Okay, nice. Then that we know that thing's gonna come here. So you go there. Because it's gonna come here and then try and go underground. Then you come over this side. Interfuse. Mm. Oh, okay, so compulsion. I make it move away. Okay. Nice. So you're dead. Beautiful. Bar 
card is coming that way. Ow. Okay, now. Discus. Wanna interfuse those, but we can't. Wait. Discus you. Good. Interfuse here. Discus you. Excellent. Discus from there. Can't do anything, so head over there. You're going to go around that way. here interfuse that splinter blast there okay got rid of you so one step forward quilling moss doesn't quite reach them so we hit you instead blocked okay Right, move forward. Don't have a shot, so we'll move forward again. Take the shot. Oh, blocked. Great. So it's going to get to poison everybody again. Or just hit you for seven, okay. A dying dog can still bite, okay. Yeah, so she wasn't long with us, was she? Lost an eye, then lost her life. But kill that guy, so she goes into legend at least. Oh, but then you're coming as well, okay. Uh, let's see. Oops. That's gone on the ground. Let's use another one. Okay. You get to stick around for a while. But not in this fight. So, the problem is that's all of our... Um, it's all of our uh, poison gone for this one. Which won't be good. Well, you have to kill you. Because you're going to be super annoying. Let's introduce the rock. And discuss you. Okay, good. You're just going to go and hit him. Thank you. Shoot that thing. Discus you. Go there to protect them. Diffuse it three will it actually do anything though. No. Wild grasp. You dodged, okay. Good kill. Oh, we 
we lost you, okay. We're kind of expecting that, honestly. I could go there. Interviews. That. There we go, okay. Then discus. There. Here, interviews this discus here blocked. Damn, okay. Well, let's just shoot you again. Oh, that was good. Okay, I'm gonna come forward because you've nothing you can do at the minute. You come deal with this bard. Hey, that didn't give us a what we were expecting. Okay, all your arrows there. Okay, killed a bunch of enemies. Interfuse that. Set them on fire. Or not. Okay, good try. Discus. Okay, gotcha. Shoot that one. Well done. You're just going to go bash it with your stick. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, so it's just that one thing left now. Now, let's see. Try again. Good. Okay. Got them all done. It was fairly costly, though. Losing a person like that. Right. Upgrade hell. That could be good. That's much better, though, for horror build. Oh, thanks. Beautiful. Okay. Ina Elm fell in battle at Miller Cliffs. What a waste. What is best? Okay. Let's see what is best. Let's bury her quietly near her family. Okay, you know, wanted it this way. Okay, and then we have another defense coming. So they get two waves, I guess, every time. Okay, well, that's where we're going to end this one. Next time we will take on this and this and then go into probably the new chapter. I want to go build that as well and that. If we can. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hope you keep me safe with there and hope to see you next time. Goodbye.